You write me like <laughs> <laughs> Babe. Mm. Why not go fix something for me to eat? Hmm? Seriously? <laughs> I don't understand. Are we not going to eat tonight? Babe. Yes. After all we have been through tonight, you still want me to get up and go and fix you something to eat? Oh, Come geez. on, babe. I'm a human being now. Help me out sometimes. Why don't you just go and fix yourself something to eat? I am too tired and you know I was to go to work tomorrow. Wait, you're tired. But you wanted us to go on another round. You want another round, but you can't give me what to eat. Come on, babe. Just order food outside now. You've been doing that before. It, does that make you right? Babe, you know I don't like eating out. No, you really know I hate it. Seriously, I'm not happy with you. I'm not. But babe... Don't bot me. Uh, uh, don't. I've, I've been telling you time without number to quit this your job, but you wouldn't do that. Hello? Wait, wait. Do you really want us to have this conversation tonight? Because I remember telling you that I love my job so much. Just like you love yours. Now, I'm not going to quit my job for any reason. Okay, babe. Let me ask you this honest question. Why are you even working? Yes. Because I know you don't do anything in this house with your money. I'm the one footing out the bills. So, why in the God's name are you working? Why? It's simple. I do not want to be a housekeeper. Oh, God. Yeah. Look, babe. I try. I try my best to make food for you. Even after the whole stress at my workplace, I still come back here and make food for you. I do that. Then I'm begging you to stop. Please. I married you to do one job, and that is to feed me. But you failed at it. I'm starving in my own house. Babe, can we just, let, just leave this thing and rest tonight, please? Let's just rest. Okay. We should leave it and rest. Yes. Please. Fine. That's what we're going to do. I know what to do. What do you mean by that? I asked a question, babe. <clears throat> babe. <laughs> Honestly, Mary, he has changed drastically. From good to bad, or what? From good to better. Do you know Mark really asks me to do anything? Like, he really disturbs me over doing anything anymore. <laughs> How is that possible for a confirmed Mr. Nagi Nagi? <laughs> My dear, it's like a miracle. All of a sudden, he just stopped disturbing me. He just let me do my thing, my way, and when it's convenient for me. Huh. Why are you hemming? Isn't that a good thing? Indeed, it isn't, my dear. Why do you say so? Because someone who is constantly inconveniencing you at every given time and opportunity cannot just change without having a plan. <laughs> Mary, you are beginning to scare me. Should I be worried? Not yet, but be watchful. I mean, I just can't believe that he just changed. No, that's not entirely possible. Come on, Mary, people change. Yeah, they do. But I'm sure, deep down in your gut, you know something isn't right. Whatever. Mm, I have to go now, Mary. Talk to you later. Bye. <sighs> 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 
Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, My wife is back. Say hello. Good afternoon, ma. Welcome. Uh, Lucy, get me some biscuits. Oh, okay, sir. Honey, welcome. Am I hallucinating or is this real? I mean, is she real? <laughs> Lucy, of course she's real. Very real in flesh. You're here. Um, thank you, yeah. She decorated it. Would that be Elsa? Yes. I um, meet my wife, Clara. She's very nice and accommodating. Right, baby? You're accommodating, huh? <laughs> Babe, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, well, have some biscuits and juice. I know you must be very tired from a long traffic. Hmm? And Lucy's preparing something very delicious. Traditional. <laughs> I know you like it. Oh, great. Um, mm. I mean, I love the sound of that, mm -hmm. but let's talk. <laughs> She's nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Hey. Mom. What are you doing? Uh, I'm making fisherman soup. And I'm sure you're going to love it by the time I'm done because I put a lot of things in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I like the aroma of the food. I know, right? But you shouldn't be here. Should you? Uh, Ma, I know you might not completely agree with my cooking skills or my stay here, but, but just wait until you test this soup. You will love it. And then maybe after that you can decide if you want me to go or not. Like I said, I love the aroma of the food, but you shouldn't be here. And you may be leaving anytime soon. Just have that in your head. And hey, I eat wheat, not Gary. Okay, ma. How can you just bring a stranger into our home without informing me? Uh, this isn't right at all. Babe, um, I'm very sorry. I thought it was a wise decision. How is it a wise decision? Have I not been trying my best to take care of you? Honey, and by so doing that, I've been overlabouring my beautiful wife. I decided to put an end to it by getting us a maid. So you want me to believe that you have nothing to do with her? Honey, you can go check her up. She's clean. I got her from a hospitality home in town. I have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with her. Babe, I trust you, but I... Shh, babe. Relax. You must be tired from today's work. Okay? So all you need to do is to freshen up. Dinner will soon be ready. Babe, it's not like you're going to cook again tonight. You just need to freshen up. Come down to the dining because dinner is served. Hmm? Let me help you. I 
and where is she? Am I supposed to serve myself? Where is she? I'm here, ma'am. I hope you made my wheat. Yes, ma'am, it's in the plate. Good. is in my house and you're asking me what's going on. Babe, for the fact that I know her, you should put your worries at rest. Hey, what are you trying to do? Eat. We always pray before we eat in this house. And we have to pray, especially tonight, that we're about to eat food made by a stranger. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we come before you tonight. We are praying and asking for your protection. Especially now that we are about to eat food that is made by a stranger I do not know or trust. Father, may we not eat to our death in Jesus' name. Father, may we not eat to our death in Jesus' name. Amen. I come against any sort of love portion that might be in this food. I neutralize it in Jesus' name. Father, instead of that love portion to work on my husband, let it work on me instead in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, may we not eat to our death in Jesus' name. Father, as we eat, let us eat health in abundance in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. I cover this food with the blood of Jesus. I cast and bind any sort of evil that might be fashioned against me or my husband. Father, let that evil get destroyed in Jesus' name. No weapon fashioned against us will prosper in Jesus' name. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. No weapon fashioned against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. As we eat this food, we shall eat life and not death. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Lord of Jesus, cover this food and cover us. Blood of Jesus. Cover this food and cover us. Blood of Jesus. Cover this food and cover us. Amen and amen. We can eat now. My oh my, this food is delicious. Sorry. Uh, babe, before I forget, um, are you, I mean, were you gay? Oh, that didn't go down well. Sorry. The soup is really nice. Hmm? Sorry, I didn't hear you. I said the soup is really nice. <laughs> She's really a, a, a good cook. I told you, getting her was the best decision ever.
Velho. É touch said you're feeling sleepy. Why are you still awake? Only a mad woman finds sleep while in the midst of strangers. Strangers? Where are they? <laughs> Who are they? Mark. Hmm? You don't expect me to find sleep while that stranger is still in my house. Oh, 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 oh. You mean Lucy? Ah, not to worry. She's gone. Oh, really? Mm. Thank God. Mm, but she will be back tomorrow. Oh my God. Please don't tell me she has gone to get her bag. Bag? Oh, no, 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 no. Lucy won't be leaving with us. She'll be coming in the morning and leaving in the evening. Oh, great. But not entirely great. Mm. So, babe, why... Why do you want her gone? I thought you liked her soup. Well, mm. the soup is nice, I must confess. Mm. And I hope she kept some for tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, don't worry, I told her to keep two plates. Mm. One for you, one for me. Okay. Babe, please, enough of Lucy. Let's sleep. Mm. At least I can sleep now, knowing that a stranger is no longer in my house. Mm, but you have the stranger's soup in your belly. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, when she comes tomorrow, I'll tell her um, how you were commending her soup. Oh, this soup is delicious. Oh, I hope she gets some for tomorrow. <laughs> tell her and die. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Don't tell her anything. I'll tell her. Don't tell her. I'll tell her. Don't tell her anything. I'll tell her. You want to die right? I'll wake up. And I'll kill you again. I'll wake up again. I'll kill you again. <laughs> and I'll kill you over and over again. Let's Come sleep. Come here, let's sleep. <laughs> Not too good. Good night. I love you. I love you too. Good morning. Has it been long you came? Not quite long, ma. Ma, is there anything I can do for you? you know, maybe food or anything at all? I don't look handicapped to you, do I? Not at all, ma. I, I just... Shh. Speak to me less in this house because I do not trust you. And until I am sure of the exact thing you are doing in this house, try and avoid me. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Babe. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. See, so, yeah, I woke up. I was thinking about this delicious soup Lucy prepared. We enjoyed last night. I just came down to have my own. Don't worry, I kept yours, so. Babe. Hmm? So you sneaked in here this morning just to lick soup? Hey, young lady. Can you still trust your thing? This is my house. I'm the owner of this house. How can I be sneaking in my house? It's too early. So, is there any stipulated time for a little soup? Hmm, maybe yeah. Hmm. Babe, just leave this kitchen. Hmm? You should have asked me to get you this instead of you being here yourself. Leave, please. Babe, I didn't want to disturb you. It was too early. So, and. I couldn't resist the urge. It should be delicious. Leave, I beg. Just leave. Well, let me finish. Mark! <clears throat> let me go get ready for work. Hey, hey, babe. Do you know what Lucy will prepare for? Me? I go. Mm. 
Babe, you're ready. Oh my god. What is this? What, what's going on here? Hmm? Where? What? What is this girl's name again? What's this? Lucy! What? Lucy! Uh, good morning, ma. Lucy. Did you realize that you just served my husband with food high in calories this morning? No, um, honey, um, it's not her fault. I'm the one that requested for a bao soup. Eba and soup for breakfast. I don't see anything mm. wrong with that. This is so unlike you. I know they say change is constant. Baby, I know this is not what you want me to eat this morning, but honestly, this is what I want to eat. Please. Honey, um, I thought you were going to have your traditional bread and tea before leaving. Hey. Babe, not even the keys. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, sir, excuse me, sir. Sorry, sorry to disturb you. What is it? Sir. It just, it seems your wife doesn't like or appreciate my presence here, yes. so... Um, well, Lucy, uh, my wife is... She's not quick in accepting strangers. Hmm? Just give her time, she'll, she'll definitely accept you. I'm very sure. Hmm? No problem, sir. Um, what would you like to have for lunch or dinner? Uh, well, I don't normally come back for lunch, but with your fantastic way of cooking, <laughs> I must come for lunch, definitely. No problem, sir. Yes. So what would you like to eat when you get back? Um, do you know how to arrange a fang soup? Very well, sir. I trust you. That would uh, Let me give you money so you go to the market. This would do. Thanks. Add pepper. Sure. I like her fish. <laughs> no problem, Make sir. It thick. <laughs> Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. I said it. I knew it. I knew he's definitely up to something. You needed to see the shock in my eyes when I got home and met her. You should have told your husband that you don't want her. And you think I didn't say that? He said that my job is too time demanding and so he had to get a maid. A mistress is what he should call her because there's definitely something going on between them. Right? My dear, you need to save your marriage, Joe. That lady or whoever she is shouldn't be in your house. You don't need her as a matter of fact. <sighs> Honestly, my job doesn't afford me enough time to cook properly for my husband. Sometimes I come home late and tired. And I like, all I could make is noodles, which he hates so much. Honestly, my husband has lost touch of my food, which is why he's getting really addicted to the food the maid is making for him. Clara, I think you should ask your boss for permission today. So you will rush to the market and buy foodstuffs that you will use to cook for your husband before another woman takes him from you. You are right, but I'm equally scared of losing my job. Which is more important here? Your job or your marriage? You know what? You are right. My husband usually comes back in the evening. Let me surprise him with a good meal. Prepared by me. Just take all the time, dear, and give him the best. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> Hey. Honey, you're back. Welcome. Babe, what's going on? Why are you home so early? 
Um, honey, um, I gave Lucy money to prepare a farm soup for me. So I had to come, enjoy it, then rush back to the office. Right. You mean you came all the way from your office to do what? Enjoy a farm soup. You will like it, but it's very delicious. Lucy! Lucy! Welcome, ma. Good afternoon. Lucy, ma, do you know that a human being shouldn't eat more than 1,500 calories per day? Do you know? Of course you don't. Because if you know, you wouldn't serve my husband ever in the morning and then by again this afternoon. And you call yourself a maid. Honey, honey, it's not her fault. I was the one that gave her money to prepare the soup. It's so healthy for you! And she has to remove this thing right now. I say remove this thing. Okay. Wait, let me take let me take meat. so difficult and dramatic. Why? I am being dramatic. Huh? Do you know the risk I took just to take permission from my boss to rush to the market to buy plantain, unripe plantain with lots of vegetable and fish to make for you this afternoon? Only for me to come back and, and see that Babe, you know I don't like unripe plantains. I prefer ripe ones. Unripe plantains are healthier than the ripe ones because of too much calories. Babe, you keep mentioning calories, calories. Do I have to starve myself of what I want to eat because of your calories? You need to deprive yourself some certain food just to remain healthy. I am going to the kitchen right now to make you a well-garnished, unripe plantain porridge. I will be right back. I, I thought you were serving juice. Juice? Hell no. Your body needs more water than that sugary drink filled with so much calories. Ha! Babe, do you know that water is... No, it's okay. Let me, let me, let me drink water. Water is good. <sighs> I hope you are enjoying the food. That's good. Mm. I will buy what I am later in the day and prepare for you too. <laughs> what I am? Ah! <gasps> yeah. Look, babe. You don't need to be stuffing your belly with all this heavy, unhealthy food that your maid is serving and encouraging you to eat. Yam contains more than 500 calories in <coughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Take water. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Uh, let me just excuse you to eat. Yeah, it's not good to talk while eating. Yeah. <laughs> that is just plantain. <laughs>
iPhone. Okay. Ah. Babe, what happened to your food? What happened to my food? Oh, it got eaten by me. In the belly. Wait. <laughs> you mean you finished this whole food? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's very delicious. I feel like eating more. Ah. But I have to go to work. <laughs> I've always known that you love to eat healthy. Yes. Don't worry. <laughs> Let me go and get you another no, plate. No, like you requested. It's, 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 Yes, dear. Uh, I don't know. My my right foot hurts. Uh, I believe it's from too much driving today. Can you help me massage it? What? Uh, sure, sir. Uh, it will be my pleasure. Hmm. Babe, her hands are so soft. You know, like she's a professional. I hope you know that I am still here. As in, I haven't left the living room. Of course, babe. I know you're not invincible. Then why am I not the one doing oh, this? God, honey, I asked you to do this a couple of minutes ago. And you said you're tired from the presentation you had at the office. That's why I called her to help. I said I will do it tomorrow. Why did you have to get a stranger to massage your legs? Babe, you do go to spa, right? We have strangers there. Yet you let them massage you. Why are you making a big deal out of this? Uh, besides, you said you're tired. So why don't you go to bed? I'll, I'll join you later. Remember, you also said you'll be leaving early tomorrow morning. Hmm? Hmm. Right. <clears throat> You will meet me in the bedroom. Um, sir, yes. where else does it hurt? Just um, round the ankle. Oh. Mm. Like this. Well, wow, you're so good with the bones. What are you still doing here? Oh, I was, I was retiring to the bed. Sir, ma, uh, I'll be on my way now. I'll see you in the morning. All right, good night. Good night. Um, wait, Lucy. You say you stay around a minute at K Express, said, right? That's right, sir. Wow, it's 10 p.m. I really wasted your time with this massage. <laughs> it's not a problem. Uh, so how often do you get buzzed by this time? Uh, not quite often, but I'll try. you try? No, no, no. I can't allow you to risk your life like that. Uh, it's not possible. Why don't you pass the night here? You know, you know tomorrow you sit at home, so it will be easy for you. Uh, 
Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was actually wondering how we get here in the morning since there won't be any bus on the road. You see why you have to pass the night? Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. You can make yourself comfortable at the guest room. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're Good night. Babe, babe, it's the right thing to do. Hmm? You can't allow her to go by this time of the night. Is my fault she's still here? Come on, let's 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 be considerate. This is the right thing to do. Let's be human beings. Don't I for the shit? Come on, let's go to bed. Mm, see that. <laughs> to go and get, get water to drink. Um, I woke up and didn't see you with me. Oh, I went to use myself. Oh, okay. Um, I, let, let me just get the water and drink. You know what? Um, <clears throat> I have lost my appetite. I mean, my thirst. Yeah, whatever. Let's, let's just go back to sleep. Babe, mm -hmm. are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Very good. Let's let's sleep. <laughs> sleep last night just because my dear husband allowed a stranger to sleep in our house last night by a stranger you mean the maid exactly that lady is fast snatching my husband's attention from me and I have to do something about that like send her away um, I don't think sending her away is the answer even if it's not what would you have me do eh? I can't let her snatch my man away from me now Really? Okay, please. I am coming over to your house right now. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Please. Oh. Who is this? Babe. Yeah. This is Dixon. A fine young man in his 30s. Mm. He is from a do state. Ah. Mm. Mm. Dixon is our new house boy and gets man. Oh, really? Mm. Mm. Dixon, uh, Meet my husband, Mark. Uh, sir, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh. 
ሰሚየ ምስታዲክ in jesus mighty name we pray amen good night baby good night babe You know, I brought a man into our house, right? Yeah, uh, Mr. Dick. It's Dixon, uh, not Dick. Pardon me, ma'am. You seem not to have a problem with that. How? Why should I? You said he's our new houseboy and gateman. Uh, so since you believe we need him, who am I to object to your order? Hmm. Strange. What is he up to? You mean you have no issue with it at all? Oh, uh, babe. Oh, God. I have to be in the office early tomorrow. Let's sleep, honey. Hmm? My angel. I love you. I love you too. I know. name again? Dixon. Whatever. Don't you ever try this nonsense again. Are you okay? Calm down, Joe. Eh? You know I don't go around complimenting every woman I see. You should be happy that Dixon complimented you. You're a beautiful girl, that. Listen to me. Hmm? Don't you ever, in your life, even in your dream, touch me again. Something brought you to this house, Abby. Face it. Face the work that brought you here and stay away from me. Sorry, ma. I won't say this again. Ah, uh, sorry, ma. Sorry. <laughs> I don't get try me again. But, uh, who you deceive all this big yasha? Prespo. Eh? <laughs> because if now waiting now they think. If now a guy you they save her for <laughs> oh, Ibo, now one chance where you enter. Or guy will not be interested. But you see, if you give correct Bini man Dixon this, hey, my boss, if I handle you, if I handle you, eh, you 
don't swear to say. Dixie, you are good. You are the best. Are you not just so stupid? Hmm? You just open your mouth, wow, and be talking nonsense. When you're done wagging your tongue, you take, carry this your two left legs and get out of this kitchen the same way you came in. Nonsense. <laughs> you see, there is nothing you will not see. Just imagine that nonsense. Oh, Mr. Dick. I'm um, sir, it's Dixon. Come on, you can't tell me what to call you in my own house. I'm um, sorry, sir. Uh, so I came to ask if you wouldn't mind me washing your car. Oh, don't bother yourself about that. Um, but sir, I... See, in as much as I would have appreciated that, but I like washing my car myself. It's a means of exercising the body, if you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> exercising the way. Yeah. I get you, sir. I get you, well, sir. You know, you seem like a very nice guy. Why don't you go fetch yourself a glass and join me? I should fetch myself a glass and join you, sir. Of course. See, um, I do not sequester strangers or mean to them. Hmm? Or would you prefer we go out and have a drink? Drink here or drink out? Out, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Don't worry, go prepare. Okay, sir. I'll hurry up, sir. Um, Mr. Dick, um, are you on SM? SM? Um, sorry, sir. What is SM? Social media. Oh, <laughs> SM. Yes, sir. I'm on social media. Really? Yes, I'm on SM. Now you give me your hand so I can follow you. Sir, I should give you my hand. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Sorry, hey, so I appreciate sir. I appreciate yeah. so much, sir. Thank you. So you go chop knuckle. Come on. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Mr. D. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. I swear to God, man. I didn't know your husband was a correct guy. This guy now correct G. This guy now guy, man. Mato Saluba. Eh? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about. See, man, I wasn't expecting that this man was going to make my stay easy here. But this man, this man, this man is friendly and jovial. Dixon, you're not talking to me yet. Okay, man, see, eh? sorry, man. Eh, Oga took me out. He bought drinks and even his CEO for me. Wait. You had drinks with my husband? Eh, Tamawi. <laughs> Dixon? Ma? Do not forget the reason you are here. Because I paid you heavily for this job. Be careful and stay focused till I get what I want. Oh, yes, ma. I, I won't do it again. Good. Babe? Yes, love. You seem to be relating well with the houseboy. Oh, uh, Mr. Dick. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Really? Yeah, he's jovial and respectful. I like that a lot. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be worried or...? Babe, come on. Wait. You think I'm hiding something? <sighs> Not in love. I'm just being accommodating. Isn't that what you want, baby? Oh. It is. It just sounds weird. Like everything seems weird recently. Babe. Nothing is weird. 
I just think you're tired from the stressful day you had at work. Don't worry, go to sleep. Tomorrow everything will be fine. Trust me. Okay. Well, tonight is your turn to cuddle me. Okay, <laughs> I no, you shouldn't cuddle. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Mr. D? Oh, boss one, I'm fine, sir. <laughs> How you doing, that? Correct, guy, I did good, sir. My man. <laughs> uh, you know you're new here, and the fuel in the generator is already low, so you have to go get some fuel. Okay, sir, no problem, sir. <laughs> My guy. Correct, my son. <laughs> yeah. All right, now you can take this one. Take orange beer. Ah, <laughs> boss, thank you, man. thank you, boss. Dick thank you, boss. Dick D. I dig this, sir. <laughs> sir. But you fisty come here, sir. Uh, you can drive. Ah, boss. I feel drive ship. Mm. I feel drive truck. And nothing where I never fit drive. Very guy. <laughs> <laughs> that means you have to go with my car. Ah, no problem. So sir. you have to be back early. I'm going somewhere. Hmm? I'm the gallon is in the gen house. Okay, Let me get the keys. No problem, sir. <laughs> Correct, man, sir. Dig, dig. Hey, boss, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> My dear, thank you very much for the wonderful idea of getting a house boy. <laughs> and how is your husband taking? Surprisingly, he's cool with it. What? Mm -hmm. He didn't object? Not even a hiss from him. Honestly. Do you know that he actually relates with this houseboy more than me that employed him? Strange. <laughs> well, I do not have any reason to complain. Should I? Hello, Inspector. I want to report of a stolen vehicle. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm very sorry. Here is your phone. Hey, my police is wicked. Ah, police is wicked, ma. Ah, my beg these people. I beg this man. I beg this. As I was begging this stupid one in front of me. My what I had was is Ah, hey, ah. Hey, I'm so hey, sorry. Hey. Okay, you will be fine. All right. Ah. 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 Mm. Oh my God, ah. Mr. Dick. Hey. What happened? He was accused of car theft. Ah. Before I could get there, the police already dealt with him. Hey. Hey. The police? Yeah. 
Oh, he should have called. Ah, sir, I don't have your number now, it, eh? It's true. I don't have your number. Oh, sir, hey. Police is wicked. Yeah. I apologized. I begged and I did everything. I told them this guy is not my own. He's my ogre's guy. I can't even act. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, ah, you know I can't buy that kind of car. Obviously, you can't. Ah, sorry, hey, sorry, hey, sorry. Hey. Sorry. Ah, this is this is wickedness now. This is such a senseless act. When you see why I hate the police. If it's to go to Sambisa Forest and face the Haram guys, they won't. But they know how to pick on innocent civilians. Innocent. I, I see beating. Is it penny? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I go. Penny, stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Can we take him to the hospital? Hospital. Uh, uh, honey, this is not. The injury is not much on his face. Like what I was expecting. No, I mean, you know, police. When police beat you, now, this is no normal police beating. Just take some pen relief, you'll be fine. No, no? Sir, no, no, no. Any other pen? Oh, 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 all his body. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Put off your knees. Ah, oh, oh, because she's in pain. Sorry, Stop. Sorry. Stop it's well. Oh, God. I'm sorry you cannot solve this one, sir. It's not a sorry matter. I need more and cold milk. Mr. Dick, you deserve it. Thank you, sir. This is not normal beating. Taking my shower! <laughs> hey! Sorry, sorry. I was taking my shower. I just came out and I slipped, yeah. slipped, slipped and fell. Hey, my head is oh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah. I, I'm so sorry about that, okay? Do you think someone pushed you or what? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what has been happening since I came to your house. Ah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> This is so sad and very unfortunate. Sorry, sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, they want to kill me. My enemies, oh. Fine, alright. My enemies, oh, enemies, 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 enemies. Babe, it yeah. seems like your houseboy is constantly getting into troubles. Like a cost person. I think Lucy's behind this. Lucy? Mm hmm. I don't understand. She never wanted Dixon in this house. And she's been so unfriendly to him, according to Dixon. Really? Mm hmm. So it's possible that she's doing everything possible to frustrate him out of this house. Mm hmm. I don't quite agree with you. I wasn't expecting you to agree because you employed her. I'm just not happy with everything Dixon is going through in this house. Um, I quite understand and sympathize with him. 
But don't you think it would have been better if he has changed his name from Mr. Dick to something more decent? It would have helped. Don't you think so? Babe, did I say anything wrong? <clears throat> Mr. Dick, I got my eyes on you. Thanks, but my husband tells me that all the time. What? Nothing. No. I, I was only admiring the, the work of God in you. The image in its image and likeness. <sighs> You're beautiful. The, ha! You're so pretty. Big sin. <laughs> this one you are praising me today. Am I safe? Ah, sure, Ma. You're perfectly safe. But um, does your husband know how breathtaking and sexy you are? Hey, Ma, you are sexy. I have to go now, Dixon. Just Hi. take a moment and rest your head. You will be fine, okay? Um, Ma, I, I will be fine, but I'll be thinking of you always. <laughs> Take a break, babe. Honey, I'm almost done. Um, is the food ready? Yeah. Let me just take a shower. Okay, let me finish up. Finish. Yeah? You know, I can cook the food. You know, I can cook the food. If I talk, you must talk. I know, say they know they train. They know they train people like you. No, it's not me. Exactly. I better wash plates. Come to think of it, 
Why I go they worry myself, they lick back of pot, they lick the side when I can actually enjoy the sweet, delicious, and luscious food inside the pot. See, babe, I don't want you again. It ain't so. I don't want you again. What do they worry you? She not meant to have been a malaria. Ah. You know, you know, don't answer that. It never makes sense. Yeah, I said that. It's never oh, makes sense. Ah! Oh, God. May you bother your heart. Wait, wait. I bet you be cook giving Madame food. What can you do? Um, how are you feeling now, Mr. Dick? <laughs> Sorry, sir. No, I know you can laugh. <laughs> You can laugh, it's chopping it is not good for your health. You can laugh. Um, sir, I'm much better now, sir. The head on clear sharp. You are done now, right? Yes, ma'am. You can leave. Okay. Um, that includes you, Mr. Dick. Okay, sir, let me pour this one. Hey. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, madam. You know you can actually be nice enough to address him by his name instead of calling him Mr. Dick. Babe, let's eat. Uh, you can finish up. Um, honey, you look exceptionally beautiful. <laughs> Good with John. Please go up and cook. It's going to be funny this way you go with it. Mr. Dick. Oga called you by your name before. Mr. Dick, Mr. Dick. And as Mr. Dick, Mr. Dick, you know, sweet. See, Dick, now sexy name. I be no like Dick. I beg! Shift! Like I see road. Mr. Dickhead. Uh, 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 see, yellow popo. The one one no go take from you like this, nice sort of. You see, if you try her, you see this beneath hand. If I give her to you for this little thing. Try out. What you go do? No, tell me. What thing you feed do? Only you. You don't break head. You don't break hand. From one problem to another. Only because you came to this house. Very soon. Just very soon. Now this your forehead. They will break and stitch up for you like like major oppression. See this house me do. Kashi, can you know the face? They touch me for face. Mm -mm. Wait, 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 wait. Hope <laughs> so no be you they do me all this Kashi when they do me for this house. Hey, no panjabi. Auntie say with a drag waiting. What do with a drag? With a drag land, I've been a woman. Housemaid. Houseboy. <laughs> Yellow papa. Housemaid. If you know. Carry this your two legs in that one place. Eh? <laughs> that your village people they pursue you up and down. They will continue to pursue you. If you come, I go, ah! I go slap come you. Come on, come on for there. See how she did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, talk, they talk, they talk me to me for chest. Short girl. She was me this girl because the wala where they get for this house. Dixon. Dixie, <sighs> how are you and how is your head today? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, what? Are you okay? Are you mad? Is something wrong with your head? I, I don't understand. Why don't you say you wanted me as well? How? When? Where, where did I tell you that? But you, you sent me a text. What text? 
Something is wrong with you. Listen, you have crossed the line and I will punish you for this. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, Ma. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. But Ma, I, I have a confession to make. See, Ma, I, I really like you. In fact, I, I love you, Ma. Okay. That is it. I am going to report you to my husband to help me send you out of this house this moment. Ah, lao, 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 ma. I think God beg you. I, I will never touch you. I will never hold you again. If I touch you again, do anything you want to me. I will not want you again. I don't understand now. But I, I got the text. Okay, don't worry, you can keep it. I'm, I'm already late. Uh, well, you can just take a sip and some bread. No, you can have it. Let me pass. Drink this tea. Let's have a drink. Come on. My job, oh. hey God, I thank you. Thank you that Oga did not drink this tea. Who would I have said? Hey, <sighs> mm. Mm. this time I will be careful. How did salt enter my tea?
iron just burnt the clothes or you burnt the clothes. You increase the hotness of this iron when you're supposed to decrease it. I don't understand. I don't understand this. Uh, this has never happened before, man. I've never burnt a cloth before. I don't know what Will you mean. shut up? Just look at the mess you've made. Um, what's going on here? Honey, your, your so-called maid just burnt your favorite shirt. What? I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know. I, I just just stepped out for a minute and I, I don't know. And I've never burnt the clothes before. So please, I'm sorry. Sir. I'm so sorry. Mom, please, I'm sorry. Sir, please. Please. I'm sure it's the work of my enemy. What enemy? In fact, you are the enemy because you are the one operating this iron and you are supposed oh, to monitor babe, the hotness. Babe, it's okay. It's okay. This is the first time she's making such mistake. It's just it's a mistake. Let's just let this slide. What? Honey, it's just a shirt. Huh? It's just a shirt. She has never done something like this before. And dear, you have to be more careful next time. Absolutely, sir. It will never happen again. I promise. It's, it's, it's okay. I it's... Don't know what happened. Oh my. You keep making me look like a bad person before that girl, and I don't like it. Honey, it's not like you've been a nice person to her. Have you? Yes, and if you're just noticing that. You've not been nice to her. You've really lost touch with reality. Mark, I am your wife, but you no longer regard me as one. How? Okay, give me an instance. When last did you eat the food I made? Oh, that's... But, babe, you know, Lucy is a better cook than you. And it's not gonna hurt if you ask her to teach you one or two things, you know? <laughs> oh, wow. So suddenly she has become a better cook than I am? Really? Honey, you know I'm saying the truth. You just can't bring yourself down to believe that, isn't it? Babe, where are you going? I thought we were having sex. Sorry. There is no sex from a woman who doesn't know how to cook. Babe. Really? Atta girl. That's my girl. Hmm. <laughs> That's how she writes. Bravery. <laughs> Mr. Dixon. It's about time I dig into your past. Let me know who you are. What are you preparing? Uh, I'm, I'm making... white yam and egg sauce. Oh my god. Lucy! What did you feed my husband this morning? Okay, uh, I gave him rice and banga stew. Banga? Banga that has all the oil in this world. As if that's not enough. In the afternoon, you fed him eba and egusi oil. And now this night, you are planning to feed him yam and egg sauce oil. Lucy, do you know you're very wicked? Excuse me? Yes! Because if I should get a calculator and calculate how much calories you fed my husband for the day, it is above 1,500 calories that is recommended for a day. What is wrong with you? You want to send my husband to an early grave, right? No, ma. Can't you see that his tummy is already coming out? Eh? Is there a sign of good living? 
Is it? No, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. But, ma. Oga requested for this yam and egg sauce. So I saw what? So what? Can't you advise the person that is paying you on how to live right? Can't you? Listen, better don't feed my husband this thing you're cooking. Look for food that is low in calories or better still, go out there and get him fruits. And when you're getting the fruits, get fruits that are low in calories like watermelon or vegetables like cucumber and garden egg. And convince him to eat it because I know you can. Nonsense. Yeah. Oh, which can wanna be all these ones now, eh? How do I serve Oga Gadi egg and cucumber for dinner? She na village meeting income. These people just want to confuse me. This woman wants to confuse me. What do I tell Oga now now? <laughs> Yes, dear. Sir, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for all the mistakes that I've been making in this house. I, I don't know what's happening. I, I, I just don't get it, but I promise you, sir, I am innocent. I, I, you, you know, you know I will not do anything to jeopardize my work here. Sir, please. I know. You like you know that I'm innocent or or we'll see. Uh, see. I know that you're innocent of everything you've been accused of. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're the kindest man I've ever met. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's okay. But, sir, how, how did you know that I'm innocent? Well, let's just call it a hunch. But my advice to you is keep being the good girl that you are. Don't change for any reason. Yes, sir. Don't worry. Go back to what you're doing. Thank you so much, sir. It's Thank okay. you. I'm so grateful. You're welcome. Early today. Yeah, I had not much doing at the office, so I left early. Okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. You have to go put on something hot. We're going out for lunch. <laughs> lunch? Yeah. But there's food in the house. So? Like, baby, it's been like ages we went out. <sighs> so, I want to give my lady. The treats. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'll just go and change into something hot. Mm. Hot like, for you. Likewise. <laughs> hey, babe! Stephanie! Stephanie, what are you doing here? I don't understand. You invited me here. Me? Invited you here? Step in to live here now. Dixon, what's happening? You need to live here now. What is going on here? Who is she? Stephanie is. Oh. 
So this is the reason you left him to take care of this pregnancy alone? What? Vixen! Gosh. She's pregnant for you! Dixon! Stephanie, it's 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 You deceived me! You deceived me! I would have gone and I get pregnant! God! Dixon, what is going on? Dixon! Tell me she's lying! Talk to me! What is going on here? Who is your madam? But you told me you're a banker. A banker? Dixon! You told me you're an architect. The client. Wait, can someone please tell me what exactly is going on here? You're me! Me! Mm -hmm. What? Dixon, is this a joke or a prank? Is this a joke or a prank? Um, <laughs> How dare you! You are leaving my house this moment! Ah, my face. Dixon. A.K.A. Mr. Dick. Sir. You see, I actually know that you are more than who you say you are. <laughs> well, the wine I sent you to buy is for your guests. Man. Yes. Hey, Chemu. Chemu, you. Yes. I did. Entertain them. That's not your problem. Mr. Dick. I want to save you for the next time. Out. Get out. Before I count to three, leave my house. One, two, three. Ah, mother. Dixon, get out! Now that he is gone, what must I do for you to send Lucy away from our home? I do not want a housemaid or a houseboy. Babe, what you're asking of is, is difficult. Difficult? but not impossible. You can do it. Let everybody just get out of our lives. I just need you and me. Babe, when was the last time I touched you? <laughs> A few days ago, but you know that's not what I'm talking about. A few days ago is a long time for me not to have touched you. You deserve to be touched every minute of the day. Come here. <laughs>